Hey what's up it's Nathan here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can open up a channel and get some inbound liquidity using the loop out method. Now hopefully you already have a node set up and hopefully you have Thunderhub and Ride the Lightning. I'm going to be using both of these tools in this video so if you don't have all that stuff already uh, you'll need that set up first. So anyway I'm going to go ahead and open up a channel. So we'll go to channels and actually no we're going to go to home here and we want to go to open. And then you can go ahead and you know open one of these like advertised channels if you want to, or we can open up a custom one or a manual one. So is is new peer? I want to go ahead and do yes, and then we can go ahead and grab whoever we want to open the channel with um, on oneml.com, and you know there's uh, thousands of nodes you could go ahead and select from, or you know I'll include a link to my node down below if you want to open up a channel with me. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go with Wallet of Satoshi for this particular channel. So I'm going to copy this address information and come back over here. And I can plug it in right there. And then channel size. So I like large channels. So I'm going to be doing a 5 million Satoshi channel here. And then with the fee, I'm going to go with auto and see what's available. And we have one sat per V-byte right now. So you can't get lower than that. And we have advanced. So you can keep it a private channel or a public channel. I'm going public because I want people to be able to identify it and see it. And I could also push some tokens to the partner if I want to. Um, so if I want to give them some money, I could do that. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going with none. And we can go ahead and close that option. And I'm just going to open the channel. And we have channel open right here. So if I come over to my channels now and I go to pending, I should see it right here, and then I can check it out on uh, the blockchain, see where my transaction is. And right now it's not found, but I clicked through. Oh, there it was. So here it is. It's in this block right here, so hopefully it will be processed within about 10 minutes. Um, well, hopefully about 4 minutes, because the last one was pro processed 6 minutes ago, and it's usually about 10 minutes per block. So hopefully it gets processed soon, but I'll stop the video till it is. Alrighty, so I'm at three confirmations now, and if I come back to my Thunder Hub, I can see that my channel is open. So I've got 5 million local bounce uh, outbound liquidity right here. And now I want to get some inbound liquidity, so some of the green side of the bar, I want to fill that up a little bit so that way transactions can go both ways through this channel. And so to do that, I'm going to go over to Ride the Lightning. They have a loop out tool, and I've had good success with it. So I'm going to stick with what's worked in the past. Now, I'm not, no professional Lightning node operator by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just going to show you, you know, what works for me. So if I don't understand something or don't explain something well, I'm sorry. Please do a little bit more research if you need it. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to get stuff working, some channels open, and some inbound and outbound liquidity, and that that's my goal. So if that's your goal, uh, you, you can follow along. All right, so here I am in Ride the Lightning, and I'm just in the main dashboard here, and we have outbound liquidity. We see my wallet of Satoshi right there is the highest one I got, so I'm going to go ahead and loop out. And so amount we want to go ahead and loop out. Um, I want to do an even channel, so I'm going to do, uh, we got two, two and a half million Satoshi, so two, two and a half million. So I just wanted to double check that I typed it in correctly. Sweep confirmation target and max off-chain routing fee, I leave the default. Again, if you want to run a profitable node, do more research on this type of stuff. But if you're just trying to get stuff open and working, then I don't know. Just leave it at the default, okay? Um, estimate quote, and so it gives us a quote on the fees. So fee, fee, fee. So it can be a lot of it. Can be pretty expensive to do this loop out. So yeah, again, if you're going for profitability, do research. If you're just trying to get stuff working, uh, I mean, I I eat the fees, whatever it is. Um, that's fine with me. All right, withdrawal address. So I'm just going node local address, or you can do an external address. And then we'll just go ahead and initiate loop out. And so here's some details right here. I'm going to go ahead and check the status. And I see that it's initiated. So it, it takes a while for, for it to process. And a lot of times it can fail, like especially if you're doing larger uh, amounts. Um, like I'm doing 2.5 million Satoshis, like it might not work. And I might need to go back and try, you know, $500,000 or 500,000 Satoshis uh, and, and try a smaller smaller amount so we'll see if this works you might as well go with what you want first 
and if you need to adjust you can adjust later on uh, here's a previous loop just while we're here and you can kind of see the cost right here so cost server and then cost off chain and then cost on chain so I don't know that's six so six plus three so nine thousand sats so that's I don't know only like three bucks I think three or four dollars at this point in time so not not too too bad at least in my opinion I don't mind eating a couple bucks to 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 participate in the lightning network but anyway we'll come back um, and hopefully this loop out will be successful alrighty so it's been about two hours and I see that it's been successful so my loop out worked so that's pretty awesome here we can see my fees uh, cost server sets are the same uh, off cost off chain was cheaper a lot cheaper like half off this time compared to last and then cost on chain was a little bit less so anyway it did work I can come over to Thunder Hub now and if I look at my wallet of Satoshi channel we see I got two and a half million local balance and two and a half million remote balance so I got inbound and outbound liquidity so you know I'm ready to go and of course if you're trying to be a lightning node operator you want to open multiple channels and have inbound outbound liquidity across all your channels so that way you can you know route payments and be a, a successful lightning node operator whatever that means I don't know at this point I'm just learning myself but I'm showing you what I figured out so far and that that's it for this video I hope you found it helpful enjoy the rest of your day